Hey guys. All right. Today I'm gonna walk you guys through what I call I call this the sparse search on the itch. So that's a how I call it because um, let's say if you're trying to move somebody instead of just like let's say okay, let's say I have a driver in Atlanta, Georgia, and he's trying to go to Charlotte, North Carolina. But he doesn't want to date ahead hundred each way. So usually people would just like do that type of search, just put the origin and then do like this. So that will give you all the load. And you will not be able, it will show you every load, all the load that pick up 100 mile radius of Atlanta, but with no specific direction, like you can be load going anyway. So to narrow down your research, you see it can be a lot because this is a driving. Um, so what, how I do my research is like, I will go ahead and put the destination Charlotte North Carolina, and he doesn't want to get ahead more than 100 miles away from North. Uh, so anything that pick up 100 mile radius around Atlanta, but drop off like less than less than a 100, not more than 100 miles from Charlotte. So if anything gonna be like. 200, the drop off is going to be like 150 or 200. It would not show me that. So, and I put driving here, the date, and I hit on search. So, it narrowed down from 987 earlier to 47 exact March. So, here it makes my life a lot easier. So, I can see this load example is. Pick up in Georgia, 64 miles away from Atlanta, and is dropping in North Carolina. But that town, Lincoln Town, is 39 miles away from Charlotte, North Carolina. So that's that help you narrow down and focus on what. So this specific driver, he doesn't care about the mileage that is a drive as long as you get him close to home. So this type of search is like, it makes your life easier, especially when the driver is down with the OTR, they're heading home. So you can know, okay, how far the drop off is from home and is it worth it based on the money, okay? Again, let me take you through it. You got a driver who wanna go in a specific direction so let's say he been on the road for two weeks and now he's in Atlanta, he just dropped something in Atlanta. He wanna head to Charlotte, North Carolina where he's home. But he doesn't wanna drop a road that is more than 100 miles from North Charlotte. So you put the pickup in Atlanta, ask him the dead head is willing to drive from Atlanta. And then you put your destination, the dead head that is willing to and then you do search. So it will give you the list of the load and you just have to go down the list, okay? So then I'm gonna start walking my way through the list, email or the one that put the phone number, I called it. So that was a quick tutorial that I decided to do because today I was frustrated with a load. Um, this one, the example, the criteria that I give it to you, they was a lot smaller with this particular career that I was dealing with, got us so many criteria, so many, I don't do this, I don't go there, I don't. So it was frustrating, but thanks to one of my mentor tell me this trick and I know it, but I didn't, I didn't remember, I didn't think of doing it's been a hard week. All right. I hope you enjoyed this and 
if you enjoyed this video or you get a nugget from it, please share. And if it's from YouTube, like, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it. So I do this watching, yes, I do watch uh, driving, refer, power only, load and stuff like that. So if you need it, ever need a dispatcher, hit me up 404-322-8827. Again, 404-322-8827. Thank you. Oh, my son,